Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here, yeehaw, and there are some nerfs and buffs coming to Pokemon Unite. I mean, there are so many things coming to Pokemon Unite with this brand new map, the brand new battle pass, Mew coming to the game, just so many things. Here are the nerfs and buffs being tested on the public test server, at least some of them. There could be more that we don't know about. I'll first talk briefly about Unite moves because that could be a whole discussion, but Unite moves in general are getting changed across the board. You are no longer going to use your Unite move and then kind of become this crazy powerful thing like you used to. Each Pokemon and kind of each role is being affected differently, but just know that when you Unite, it's no longer like you've gone Super Saiyan. Something that your Pokemon does has gotten better, but it's not exactly like what it was. You can see in my other videos where I'm testing the new map, what Unite moves kind of look like right now, and they're way toned down, I will say. So that's a huge change, but let's talk about nerfs and buffs. I will have uh, some of these hopefully in the, maybe not the description, but maybe in the pinned comment of this video. It's a little much to have them all on screen, but I'm gonna have the Pokemon up here while we talk about it. Let's talk about Buzzwole. Buzzwole was released, and I think Buzzwole kind of underwhelmed a lot of people, especially the Leech Life and Smackdown part of its kit. It seemed like Lunge and uh, the other move, Superpower, just became the moves to use here. And it looks like they're trying to make SmackDown and Leech Life a little bit better. Uh, the damage is up on Leech Life as well as the amount of hits. So this could be really nice. And the cooldown got a reduction. We also see increased damage on SmackDown. I don't know if this is going to be the difference maker with these moves. It might need a little bit more, but things could also feel a lot different in this new map. So Buzzwool getting a couple big changes here. Uh, cooldown reduction as well on that Leech Life. So Smackdown, Leech Life, both getting buffs. Let's talk about a Pokemon getting a nerf. Surprise, surprise. Cramorant. In a few ways, Cramorant's getting a nerf. Uh, because Emblems are taking uh, a little bit of a hit, critical hit, and... Uh, black emblems are both getting a nerf, as well as Cramorant's Air Slash. It's getting a cooldown reduction. It's seven seconds right now, and it's going up to eight seconds. This is just stopping this move from being eminently spammable. So I think that's what they're looking for with this change, is just to make sure that Cram just can't spam things exactly how it has been. With the black emblem change, with this change, it's gonna be a decent hit to Cram here. Uh, okay, here's another Pokemon that I feel like, yeah, was probably getting a nerf. Machamp. It's Dynamic Punch is getting a damage nerf. Dynamic Punch is kind of the way to go when you play this Pokemon, so it doesn't surprise me. However, Submission is getting sort of a weird change. So rather than Submission getting a, a straight up buff, which it probably needs, it's getting a nerf and a buff. So... The buff is the cooldown on submission is changing from 11 seconds to nine seconds. Pretty useful, I would say. However, the movement speed is getting a nerf from 70% to 50%. I wonder if they think given this increase, it will maybe become too popular. I still think dynamic punch will probably be the choice, but that is to be seen. We're gonna have to see what happens there. Machamp getting a couple nerfs and it makes sense. And then a little bit of a buff there on the cooldown of submission. A Pokemon that probably needs more than this, but is getting a buff is Wigglytuff. It's damage for double slap is getting a buff. Uh, I don't know how big this is going to be, but it's a cooldown buff and it's a damage buff. That's always super positive. I still think Dazzling Gleam is pretty amazing amazing. When you have a large amount of burst damage, I think that's pretty important, but any buff to the underused moveset could be helpful. Now, this is one that I'm sure everyone expects. It's probably the most, well, maybe the second most requested nerf Pokemon, and that's Serena. Serena's getting multiple nerfs uh, to Stomp, Stomp specifically. So Stomp's damage is going down, Stomp Plus's damage is going down, the uh, extra damage, I believe, from Queenly Majesty is going down. So across the board, Stomp is getting nerfed. And if you watch the you know World Championships, you know that Serena absolutely dominated the pack in so many different ways. I'm not surprised at all that we're seeing a nerf to this Pokemon. However, Triple Axel is still super viable. And I've seen a lot of nice builds with Triple Axel. I have one up on my channel if you want to check it out. 
I think Serena's still gonna see some play. I wonder if these stomp nerfs are going to be enough. They feel like they could be somewhat considerable, but of course, when you're just looking at sheets of numbers, you're not really gonna know until you get it inside of a match and you can feel how this Pokemon plays. I still think Serena's probably gonna be pretty beastly. Another Pokemon that you're probably not surprised is getting a nerf is Dragonite. Dragonite absolutely crushed it in Worlds. It's really solid right now, and I don't know how big these nerfs are going to be. So Hyper Beam max HP damage is nerfed, but it looks like when you get to level three on it still, it is the same. So they're kind of setting up this interesting situation where you still need to charge up your Dragon Dance and charge your Hyper Beam to level three. But once you do that, we still have a ton of damage. However, uh, stage zero, one, and two now are lowered by 5% each of the max HP damage. So that means your hyper beams when you're not stacked up are going to be weaker. Also, your Dragon Dance is getting a half second longer cooldown. And I think that could be more considerable than people probably think. A half second on Dragon Dance, as I'm sure you might remember, this is the move that lets you dash around, continuing to increase your Hyper Beam's damage, stacking that up more and more. And I think one of the biggest reasons you're seeing this is because with a Black Emblem set currently, you can just spam this and you don't even need to hit attacks. Now, with Black Emblems being nerfed, and with this being nerfed, you'll no longer be able to do that. Overall, this could hurt Dragonite a bit. I mean, you know, you're doing uh, decreased damage, multiple levels of Hyper Beam, and it's harder to keep your Dragon Dance up. So I think that could be pretty big. Glaceon, actually, a Pokemon getting a nice little buff. I'm sure it's also getting a bug fix, so you're not going to need to worry about Icicle Spear and its bug. But Glaceon, where are you, buddy? I just wanted to pull you up on screen. Am I blind? Oh, I think I have it favored right now. Is that why it's... Yes. Okay. So Glaceon getting a buff to its Icy Wind. Icy Wind is now dealing some extra damage. I'm not really sure exactly how you know significant this is going to be but it just does a higher percentage of special attack that could be pretty cool also something's changing with its passive it might be that its passive used to let you ignore a jump pad landing on you i wonder if they've maybe taken that away it almost acted like a little bit of a score shield and now with rayquaza i'm wondering if they're kind of gonna mess with that a little bit but we're getting a buff there on Icy Wind. I still think it's already a really solid move set, and this makes it even better. Another Pokemon getting a little buff, very, very minor, but you know, it's something is Delphox. Flame Charge getting a half second off of its cooldown, which is pretty nice. Uh, Gardevoir, excuse me, not Gardevoir. I was looking at a move and I thought, oh, that must be Gardevoir. No, no, no. Espeon, unsurprisingly, Espeon getting multiple buffs here. Espeon obviously looks like man, most fun when you go that fast. Espeon, ha it needs some buffs. It's getting a cooldown reduction to both Psybeam and Future Sight. So Future Sight's being uh, knocked down by a second and Psybeam being knocked down from nine seconds to seven and a half. That's a pretty huge cooldown reduction. And I think they're just slowly tweaking this Pokemon bit by bit to see if you can make it viable because for the longest time, espeon has been unfortunately pretty underwhelming. A weird one here is Duraludon. I don't really think they need to touch this Pokemon too much, but Duraludon is getting a change to its Dragon Tail. So its internal cooldown is going from 1.1 seconds to two seconds, but it looks like it now has a re recharge buff so it looks like they're letting you use it less often but it's recharging fast it's just going to be interesting to see so you're going to have more charges of it i think but you can't spam it as quickly i don't really know if this was an issue the dragon tail needed some sort of nerf but hey fair enough uh, another pokemon that could be getting the biggest change of all is mr mime so mr mime Guard Swap and Psychic are both changing, as well as its boosted attack. So it looks like they've realized that they need to do a lot of work here on Mr. Mime. Guard Swap, from what I've heard, these are just rumors that I've heard, Guard Swap now heals continuously when you first get it. I'm not sure if that's true. And now with Psychic getting a rework, you might be able to do something really cool with Guard Swap Psychic Mime. They've been trying to make this build work for a long time now. I really hope they've made something cool here because that could be exciting. There are also some rumors of Tyranitar getting a change there, but I actually think what people are seeing inside the test server are 
old numbers that Tyranitar's had for a while. I could be wrong here, but I don't think we're going to see a buff to Tyranitar. I think if anything, this Pokemon might get a slight nerf, but for now, these are the big nerfs and buffs that we know they're toying around with. A lot of them could definitely come to the game, but who knows what this game is going to look like next week with this massive change. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. Let me know which nerf or buff you are most excited for in the comments. I love you very much, and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm. We did it.